uh, between uh, the two spacecraft and initiate a period of leak checks uh, that will lead to the opening of the hatches around 10 p.m. Central Time this evening. Fly around started. Putting it up. Copy. Range rate is 125. We can also see the, the visiting vehicle officer in uh, the flight control room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston right. now confirms what you're seeing on the screen from the external television camera on the Soyuz spacecraft, and that is that the fly around has begun. This is all done in an automated state to the CORE's automated rendezvous system that essentially uh, bounces radio beacon signals back and forth to a comparable system on the Russian segment of the International Space Station to feed navigational data to the onboard computers on the Soyuz to compute uh, its distance from the station and its rate of closure. At the time of docking itself, the Soyuz should be uh, approaching at a very glacial rate of about one-tenth of a meter per second for contact and capture. We're on page 77. Step 10, one. Uh, and there from cameras on the uh, truss of the International Space Station, you can see the Soyuz TMA-01M spacecraft as it travels uh, 222 miles above the Earth, east of New Guinea. Okay. continuing its fly around to align itself uh, with the Poisk module of the International Space Station. Watching on board uh, and keeping tabs on the approach of their newest crewmates that will be arriving a short time from now are Station Commander Doug Wheelock, Shannon Walker, and Fyodor Yurchikin, who are in their 116th day in space, their 114th day aboard the International Space Station. Page 79. In the bottom, Papa one, do not open. Copy. We are on 86, the uh, accelerated trim, right at this point, we close in RPV-1. Okay, in the process of accelerated trim, we close RPV-1. Copy. Soyuz exactly where it needs to be at this point, uh, completing its fly around uh, to align itself to the Poisk module of the International Space Station. You are looking uh, at two of the other Russian spacecraft, actually three of the other Russian spacecraft as we speak, the, uh, two progress vehicles and the Soyuz TMA-19 spacecraft that will bring home Wheelock Walker and Yurchik in just seven weeks from now. Uh, verify ASA plus BO using manovacometer. When exactly? After Soyuz Commander Alexander Kaleri flying under the call sign of Ingul after a uh, famous river that runs through the Ukraine, continuing uh, to oversee uh, the fly around that will result in the initiation of station keeping just a couple of minutes from now at a range of 160 meters away from the docking port of the Poisk module. About the retraction, how copy? Please repeat. After the retract. 
how can it after retract so when the port will be aligned and the hooks will start driving then we'll are go to transition to the orbital compartment immediately after you see the LED on indicating that the hooks are closed. Okay, copy. A good view of the Soyuz spacecraft uh, from cameras on the International Space Station. The uh, blinking uh, device that you see, that's actually the uh, core's antenna that is uh, pulsing radio beacons uh, to and from uh, a comparable core's automated rendezvous system on the Russian segment of the International Space Station to update uh, the navigational computers. The display is being uh, read out uh, on the new Neptune digital display control panel in this new modified Soyuz spacecraft. The uh, Soyuz is 215 meters away from its arrival port at the International Space Station. Everything going in very smoothly. Alexander Kaleri, an old hand at uh, Russian spaceflight operations, one of the most experienced humans in the world in terms of spaceflight. And we can see the LED on the left case back, K15 at 2. 42.23, approximately. Copy. The Soyuz and the International Space Station about to cross the equator, moving from northwest to southeast, northeast of New Zealand. Docking is scheduled about 19 minutes from now. Alexander Yurevich, uh, let's uh, give the red highlight uh, to see the digits. Yes, use red or orange. Okay. Right now I have orange. Right now again we have orange. Yes. I selected red. Do you like me to rotate it? Yes, please rotate. Is it okay? Or would you like us to adjust it more? No. Uh, Alexander Kaleri reporting back to Russian flight controllers here in Korolyov that the Soyuz is rotating to put itself in the correct orientation relative to its solar arrays inside 200 meters away from its docking port. We should be uh, initiating station keeping a short time from now. Uh, roll maneuver is in progress. Copy. We monitor. Copy. Course in Prichel. Transition to pre-child antennas. Copy. 
Пока не надо. No. Not now. Ah. Prepare. Okay, I don't think we can make it. And